Hi there. Excuse the robot voice, my microphone is being complicated. But doing voice is still much less edit intensive than on screen text, and requires less reading your end. This is an update on my FPS game project. I've been hard at work since my last post. I'm creating this as a portfolio piece to showcase engine and animation knowledge, but who knows, maybe we'll have a full game one day. The scope is staying quite small, so I think that'll eventually be achievable. The game is a wave-based survival game, heavily inspired by titles such as Left 4 Dead 2, Call of Duty Zombies, GTFO, and Dead Space, among others. The premise of the game is to survive as long as possible while being attacked by onslaughts of various enemies, ranging from default infected types to special aliens. Each with their own abilities. The player gathers a currency called Biomatter by killing enemies, which they use to buy special upgrades, improve their gun, unlock doors to new areas, and purchase consumables such as grenades to help in their survival. On top of this, Biomatter is used to fuel the ammunition for the player's gun, at a default ratio of 3 matter per bullet. I want this game to have a big focus on resource management, and having to use their melee option to conserve currency and ammunition, especially during the early game. Okay, on to showing what I've done so far. Last post I talked about working on a true first person animation setup. While this is cool, it is very fiddly, and requires a ton of different components to get working properly. For ease of learning and so I'm not pulling my hair out on a system that takes weeks to build up, I've dialed back to a fixed FPS perspective. I'll set up aim offsets to get a more natural feel to the model and camera movement without having to go whole hog and do a true FPS system. As you can see, I have multi-directional movement for walking and sprinting so far. I've achieved this with a blend space that tracks the player's speed and direction, and goes between the requisite animations as needed. The sprinting is gated by a stamina bar, but I'll get into that later. Next up is the shooting, which is something I'm really proud of. The player's gun is a sort of bioreactor powered rivet gun, so it fires out brutal, red-hot bolts. The bolts latch into whatever they hit, and cool down over time. To save space on actors, the bolts will eventually fade out and disappear. To prevent issues with floating objects, a bolt will be deleted immediately if it hits a pre-existing bolt. Reloading is done by pressing R, and will consume the required amount of biomatter to reload the gun. Without any upgrades, reloading takes quite a while, so the player will have to be careful early on. The gun has a dynamic ammunition screen that displays the player's current bullets, as well as showing reload progress and displaying a warning if the player doesn't have enough matter to reload. I made all the screen textures myself and am really proud of how they turned out. I think they look great. As demonstrated by this moving cube, bolts will latch on two moving meshes, too. This will, hopefully, include enemies once they are implemented. Now on to the stamina bar. Stamina recharges over time and is currently only consumed by sprinting. After sprinting, there is a short delay before stamina will begin to recharge. Doing certain actions while sprinting will stop the player from sprinting, such as melee attacks or shooting. Finally, healing is done by pressing Q. Currently there is no logic to the health bar or player damage, so healing isn't scripted to do anything just yet aside from playing the animation. The player cannot sprint or do any other actions while healing, and they are slowed for the animation's duration. This is the same slow effect that some enemies will be able to inflict, and is there so that the player has to time their healing windows well. And that's about it, so far. Things are going really well and outside of some tutorials almost all of this is self-taught. I'm having a blast and have a ton of work ahead of me for more planned features to get the game rolling. Some things on the immediate to-do list are particle effects, aim offsets, and more player animations, as well as getting an enemy prototype going. Thanks for watching, until next time.